I'm very sorry. Yes, y yes, I, I know, sir. I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm, I, I, I understand, sir, but I need to put you on hold for just one. Okay, sir, I won't put you on hold. I'll get someone right away. He's already called three times today. Holly, Holly, it's Michael Williams. Hello, this is Holly Ames, co-owner of Security Force. How may I help you? Miss Ames, do you know who I am? Uh, well, so far, sir, only someone named Michael Williams. Now, what seems to be the problem? Someone named Mike... I'll tell you what the problem is. Your company installed a security system in my house, and I've had nothing but trouble with it. Okay, now, your security clowns, they've been out here twice, yet the problem still exists. Okay, listen, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Can you tell me exactly what's going wrong? The alarm has gone off eight times! My neighbors are pissed. The cops are out here twice a week. Do you know what the fines are for all of this? Okay, Mr. Williams, we will certainly reimburse you for any fines. Um, I'm confident we can uh, handle the situation. I'll tell you what, I will personally come out tomorrow morning and handle this myself. No, 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 no tomorrow, today. You understand me? I don't get many days off. This is one of them. I want this taken care of immediately, or I want the thing out of my house. What's it going to be? Um... We will be out there within the hour. Uh, Mr. Williams, again, I apologize for any inconvenience. Come on, Morda, let's go. Me? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So excited that we're gonna see Michael Williams. You've never seen his talk show? You've never even caught a glimpse of him flipping through channels? Nope. Oh, I can't believe it. This is only the guy voted sexiest black man in America for like the past two years in a row. I mean, he's gone out with everybody who's anybody. <laughs> he's just a customer. That is all I need to know. A rich, tall, gorgeous, smart, Sexy, single customer. Wanda, honey, I love you. Can you please just get us there already? Whatever. Lawn company's fault. You should be writing them up, not me. Tell me this is not what I think it is. They said they're coming over here right now to take it. Oh, you leaving? You leaving me, huh? Jerk. I'm crushed, huh? Oh, thank you. Thank you, brother man. Oh, great. All right, let's go. Mrs. Williams, hi. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, what is this? Where's your boss? Excuse me? Look, I just got another citation, okay? The last thing I'm in the mood for is to go around with two more flunkies. Wait a minute, we are not flunkies. The owner told me she would be out here herself. Why she sent you two kids? I don't know. Mr. Williams. No! Okay, she promised me, she guaranteed me that she would personally come out here and handle this. Now, I don't like being lied to. Wait a minute, you're not being lied to. I'll tell you what you can do. You can get her on the phone right now, you can get in your truck and go home. Mr. Williams, this is Holly Ames. She is the owner. Well, don't stand there looking at me like that. Why don't you say something? I tried. Yeah, look, uh, we'll take this. Why don't you show us where the problem is, and we can get this whole situation fixed, okay? Yeah, I hope so. Because this is absolutely the last time. Oh, I can guarantee that. Where's the problem? Follow me. Usually, it's at night. But I also notice that it happens during the day sometimes. Okay, so you keep your alarm system on even when you're at home? Yep. Yeah. Well, I specifically ask that my office be accessible when the alarm system is on because I like to use my office late at night. I had my business manager put in the contract. Okay, well, why don't you show me exactly where you're standing when the alarm goes off? Um... 
Usually when I'm on this side of the room. Right. Okay. Well, I'll need to tap into your computer to access your security system, so I'll need your password. Uh, the guy who installed it, he told me not to give it to anyone. Yeah, that would be for the obvious exception of service members within the same company. <clears throat> Look, you can type it in yourself, you can change it later, I just need to fix this problem. Gamma. Excuse me? Gamma. G-H-A-M-M-A. -M -M Alright? Okay, thank you. I need to make a call, excuse me. Gamma, what is that baby talk? <laughs> Hello. Andy, you still in bed? Four o'clock in the afternoon, man. Come on, man. Give me a break. It's my day off. You got a file on Holly Ames, the congressman's daughter? Oh, Mike. And bring the file to our meeting tomorrow. You know what? You're a real peach. You know that? Later. How we doing, Wanda? 94 inches. What? 94 inches. I don't believe this. That idiot. What? <laughs> that idiot! Which idiot would that be? Mr. Williams. No, call me Michael. Or idiot, if you prefer. Look, Mr. Williams, I apologize. That was completely out of line. It's just that you were so arrogant before and... I was arrogant. And this whole thing is your fault. Okay, how is this all my fault? Well, first of all, why don't we start with the door? It's supposed to be 38 inches. It's more than double that. Yeah, well, I had it remodeled just before I moved in. I wanted to open up the office to the patio room, so the architect enlarged that door. Well, there's no problem with that, but did you bother to have your architect contact us with those changes? I didn't think that would be necessary. Mr. Williams, when you contracted us to secure your home, you gave us old blueprints, which, if you want to look on my computer, is still on file. All of this was designed with old measurements. What does that have to do with anything? Well, my system utilizes computer animation and sonogram technology. So what's the problem? The problem, Mr. Williams, is that whenever you go through this portion of doorway, my system thinks that you are a six foot two, 190 pound intruder that is busting through this wall. So as you can see, all of this is your fault. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You had guys come out here twice and they didn't detect any problem, so... Because I want you to be a happy customer, my company will absorb all the costs of all tickets. All I ask in return is that when there's an opportunity for recommendation, you're fair to us. Absolutely. You have my word. Well, I'm gonna have to reprogram your whole system from the main computer in my office, so we'll be back tomorrow. Okay, well, looking forward to it. Listen, I was a jerk. I want to apologize. Really. Well, apology is accepted, but I've got to get Wanda off the clock, so... It was really nice meeting you. Nice to meet you too. See you tomorrow. Ooh, I think he likes you. Shut up, Wanda.
close to nailing Bobby and Whitney to start off next month. Oh, that's going to be good. Yeah, we got a verbal from Hallie's manager for the week after that. Ah, nothing sooner? No, 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 she's on location. Okay, here's what we do. Let's go full court press on the Clippers and the Lakers, mm -hmm. and... What'd you come up with for Holly Ames? Well, not much beyond the tabloids. She keeps a pretty low profile. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm positive that you're thinking about a show with her. Am I right? Not necessarily. Okay. Her brother. Not a big enough star yet. Mm, yeah. Hey, we ever looked into Trey Christian? Yeah, we talked to his representatives. Like... Oh, now that is a great idea. Are you thinking about him and Holly? Because if you are, it's magic! Slow down. Slow down, big fella. Just build a file on her and uh, look in a tray for me. You got it. Okay. No, let him stay right there. Good morning, ladies. Hello. Good morning. Yes. I'd like you to meet my producers, Andy Kurtz. Okay. This is Holly and Wanda. Hello. Hello. Hello to you, Holly. I can't tell you how honored honored I am to meet you. I am such a big, no, no, huge fan of your father for years. Thank you. If there is anything, anything, I mean anything you want, I am just a cell phone away. You hear me? We'll be in the next room. Nice meeting you. You too. Why the hell didn't you tell me? There's nothing to tell. Oh, I think there is. There is nothing to tell. Man. What are you telling me? Nothing. So I suppose you've changed your password by now. No. I've decided you're trustworthy. <laughs> oh, you trust me with Gamma, huh? Yeah. That's what I call my grandmother. At least until I lost her last year. It reminds me to say a prayer for her. So how long have you had your company? Uh, four years. Really? What got you in this line of work? I'm sorry. I do that all the time. I, you know, I tend to interview everybody I'm talking to, so occupational hazard. <laughs> Listen, no problem. Um, my partner, her family owned a security business. I had the technical background. We figured we could make a good team. Technical? You were a computer geek. <laughs> um, geek at and proud of it. Uh huh. That's unusual for someone so attractive. Listen, you're going to have to excuse me, but I'm really going to have to tend to these settings. Okay, if you need me, I'll be in a living room. <laughs> it's a great idea. Hey, 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 it's not an idea. Come on, you were thinking it. Holly and Trey on the same show? You throw in Robert J and you really got some sparks. You remember you introduced them. Last time you saw Trey, fisty cuffs. That's not me, Andy. Come on, look me in the eye and tell me you weren't thinking it. All right, maybe a thought occurred. Well, you keep that thought occurring because you could use a little boost with Mr. Todd Thomas. Between you, me, and the red Mercedes, he's been doing some major league nudging. He'd like to see the show get a little hotter. Mm-hmm, that's news to me. These network guys, all they understand is ratings. We get good ratings. We do. But we could always do better. What? Hey, Holly? Holly? Holly, 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 wait, 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 wait. Look, I feel really bad about all of this, so let me take the two of you out to lunch. It'll be my way of apologizing. That'd be great. And that won't be necessary. Michael, you've already apologized. I know, but I still want to take the two of you out to lunch. Thank you, but we can't. You can't? You're a tough one, aren't you? Let me know if you have any problems. Okay. Bye, Mr. Williams. Bye, Wanda. You look very nice today.
Well, Moonbeam or Cheryl Lynn or whatever her name is, isn't going to be here tonight because she canceled. Because her planets were out of alignment. <laughs> I know this is show business, but I just got to go on the record as saying, I hate things that are phony and flaky. I always have, I always will. So, I'm saying that here right now so that if anybody ever sees me not living up to the way I'm talking right now, you can hold me to it. All right, y'all, let's enjoy the show. Did we? What are you talking about, Pam? Michael Williams. Oh, what about him? Do you realize that you have given up a chance that women all over this country would die for? Kill for? Give up chocolate for? <laughs> what, to fix the man's alarm? <sighs> no, not to fix the man's alarm. To go out with him. Pam, he invited Wanda too. But he was interested in you. No, no, I don't think so. Mm -hmm, I do. That's what Wanda said. Pam, it was not like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, I don't believe this. Even if it was, which it wasn't, do you actually think that I would consider dating some egomaniacal, self-centered, womanizing? Nothing's going to come of Holly, it. Holly, look it. who came for you. Gosh, I wonder who sent that. <laughs> Holly, I'm sad you won't have lunch with me, Michael. It wasn't like that, though, was it? Pam, give me, give me this bear. Key card, though. That's a really cute bear. If he thinks that this is going to impress me, he has got a lot to learn. Mike. Hey. This package just came for you. Oh. Gifts. Wow. Well, I'll give her that. She is tough. <laughs> hey folks, I want to share something with you. I got inspired today uh, by a few things. A great man trying to do great things. A little old lady who wouldn't give up a good fight. And by a feisty old soul who just wasn't that impressed with me. I want to show you something. Ah. Oh, that's right. Look at, look at this. <laughs> Is this not the cutest thing? Ladies, if a man ever sends you this, or something like this, don't send it back. That's what happened to me, by the way. She sent it back. But I told you I was inspired, right? That's what this bear is about. I'm going to leave him right here. To remind me, don't be afraid of who you really are. And keep on doing what you have to do till you get what you want. Okay, our first guest tonight is a veteran of both stage and screen. <clears throat> Hello? Are you watching? Watching what, Pam? You little liar. Good night, Pam. <laughs> Good night. Miss Hanks, Pam would like to see you in the office. She'd like to see me. Is there a problem? No. No? Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
such a good job. I feel compelled. Ah, uh, well, you know, we try to do our best. You know, but... Hey, girl. I was just talking about you. Hey, howdy, hi. How you doing, Holly? I was going to wait outside, but uh, Pam insisted that I step inside and take oh, a look. Oh, wasn't that nice of her? What can I say? Look what Mike brought for me. Mike. Oh, yes. But that is nothing compared to what he brought for you. Okay, I cannot accept this. Oh, Holly, quit being such a tight ass. Now, Mike was telling me what a wonderful job you did on his system. And you know what? The Milton Group contacted him, and he gave us a glowing recommendation. Okay. Um, thank you. Oh, it was the least I could do. So I want you to accept these roses as a token of my appreciation. <clears throat> thank you, Mr. Williams. And for the last time, it's Michael, okay? And I have one piece of unfinished business. I'd like to take you and uh, Wanda out to dinner. No, no, no. That will not be necessary. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait now. You're not the only one involved in this decision. Robin, could you send Wanda in here, please? Yes, ma'am. Well, what? He invited her, too. Doesn't she get a say in this? Pam, don't you have something you need to be... Oh, no, no, no. I have nothing else to do. This is very important. We have a happy client here who we'd like to keep happy, so he will give us a great recommendation and send us more clients. Now, that's just taking care of business, right? Wanda, come on in here. Mr. Williams would like to take you and Holly out to dinner to thank you for your work. Do you want to go? Is this for real? Absolutely. Anytime you two want to go. How about tonight? Pam, tonight, tonight would, would be, be great. great. I have got a late appointment. Sorry. The auditor? I'll take care of that. Holly, please. <laughs> okay. Wonderful! Why don't we, uh, just leave these two alone so they can work out the details? <clears throat> well, have fun. Okay. <laughs> For Wanda. For Wanda? Hey, Miss Ames, how are you this evening? I didn't know you were going to be with us tonight. Uh, will your family be joining you? Uh, no, Roscoe. Actually, the reservation should be under Williams. Oh, Mr. Williams, yes, yes, of, of course. Uh, but I have a message here from a Miss Hernandez. Seems she's going to be unable to attend. You gotta be kidding me. No. Uh, wh what did she say? She said just to tell Mr. Williams and his guests that she just couldn't make it. Hi, Holly. Wanda canceled. Did you have anything to do with this? No. No, no really, it's the first time I heard of it. Uh, how long ago did she call? It's been about 20 minutes. <laughs> no, hey, I had nothing to do. You don't believe me? We can call her right now. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, excuse me. Uh, should I see you two? Yeah. No. We should definitely reschedule this. Excuse me for a second. Hi, let me talk to you. Uh, we're already here. Why don't we just eat something? Listen. I come here all the time with my family. Mm -hmm. So people know me. Don't take offense, but if we're seen together, people will start talking, and that's what I don't want. Okay. Uh, we'll go, but we still need to eat something. Well, I have found that even a cold day at the beach can be enjoyable, if you're with the right people. Here, you're gonna have some more. I don't mean to, uh, pry, but, uh, I can't help wondering, what's going on with you and Trey? Are you interviewing me, Mr. Williams? No, I'm just interested in you. Well, let me put it to you this way. My grandmother keeps telling me that I'll have to learn from my mistakes, otherwise I'll continue to repeat them throughout my life, so I'm just really trying to do that. Have you talked to him recently? Well, she also tells me that I'll have to forgive him eventually. 
But I'm not there yet, so no. Wanna know what I think? I think your grandmother knows what she's talking about. Two gamma. <laughs> Well, Michael, um, this has been a really nice evening, and in an odd way, it turned out to be just what I needed, so thank you. But we're gonna do it again, right? We'll see. <laughs> okay, we'll see. Yeah. Good night. Good night.